You have raised concerns throughout the campaign, ones that you're standing by about his temperament and about his views on foreign policy, on trade policy, and other things. Would those reservations keep you? Do they right now preclude you from endorsing him? Well, I've set out, I've signed a pledge that said I'd support the Republican nominee, and I intend to continue to do that. But we're, look, here's a situation that we're in. On the one hand, the Demo I don't want Hillary Clinton to be the president of the United States. I, I don't want her to win this election. On the other hand, as I said, I have well-defined differences with the current, the, the presumptive nominee of the Republican Party. And like millions of Republicans, you try to reconcile those two things. I intend to con live up to the pledge that we made. But that said, it, it, I, these uh, concerns that I have about policy, they remain and they're there. But, you know, I, I, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, Donald needs to change his positions in order to get my support or what have you. As I said earlier today, I think he should be true to what he believes in and continue to campaign on those things and, and make his case to the American people.